everybody welcome back so it's july the 14th and as i said earlier in a prior video today was long run day and i after going to a gourmet fast food restaurant one time uh, basically i was only able to run for approximately the first three miles of that long run and it turned down it turned out to also be a long walk i had to walk for a substantial amount of time so that my heart rate would stay within range so somehow between my last running experience where i was setting personal bests at um, comparable heat levels and today there was a shift and sometimes the shift is uh, a little bit more noticeable than others because there are data associated with these shifts. So I've mentioned before that there has been a great shift in energy. I know that a lot of people who work visually are seeing a lot of imagery in this video itself even. And for everyone who's using just imagery to judge a book by the cover, the interesting thing about these thoughts from the uh, from the novels of, of texts and volumes of, of uh, insight that I have through experience are things that are unique from my own perspective. So in order for us to be on the same page, sometimes for us to have an open discussion, we need to be able to perceive a conversation no matter what kind of distraction is going on around us, including a shaky video screen for an example. But the shift for me has been beneficial overall. And during these times when the energy has been shifting from one area to another, the physical, um, the, the physiology even of how I am able to recover to sleep, to recall dreams, and so many other things, even the rate of healing, are all tied to energies that we share with one another. And so when we um, entertain the presence of, of ourselves with one another, we can find that we're passing health back and forth that is resonating within our circles, uh, sort of like the on the mitochondrial level of how mushrooms will uh, facilitate the growth of a garden. So there are there are just you know from the from the tiny spores, uh, from the from the size of mustard seeds, are these glimmering insights that allow one another to have conversations that go beyond the ordinary. The extraordinary is basically the transformation that we're looking for when talking about things like the seven day vegan challenge and just how um, absolutely beneficial it is to be in nature. And also just how, um, how well uh, energized or maybe not as well energized some of these places in nature might be after witnessing, you know, walking in some parks that have maybe more plastic on the ground than birds in the air. There are just things that we want to be aware of as we're walking around in this uh, exceedingly um, challenging environment that we have all become more and more aware of as uh, I perceive the viewer here as an aware person you know, or even artificial intelligence for that matter. The, the awareness, however, is that there are thoughts of peace and then there are thoughts that come from a manifestation that wants to kill, steal, and destroy. To kill, steal, and destroy. And, uh, and then there's, again, there's an artifact of uh, compassion tied into the bringers of light. So to the bringers of light, um, so lucky that you have tuned in, that you've um, continued to help share these insights. Until next time, peace, love, and all that old school stuff.